Hello, today I want to show you how to create a tune shader in Blender. I want to show you two ways of doing it, and I also want to show you two ways of creating an outline. So to get into it, I want to delete the cube, uh, create a plane, and I want to also create a Suzanne. I want you to press Ctrl 2 to make it smooth, and I'm going to move this on, on the z-axis. I want you to rotate this so it lays down on the plane nicely. Okay, so once we have that, we're going to go into go we're going to go into shading and to render the view, and we're going to create a shader. So once we have the material, the most um, the easy way I guess you could say is by just cre uh, creating a Fresnel node or a layer weight and plugging in the Fresnel into the surface so this is one way of doing it I, I feel like the layer weight gives a more metal look metallic look to it and once we have that, we want to add also a color ramp so we can adjust the shadows and whatnot. And one thing you'll notice, I want to set this to constant. And one thing you'll notice is that the light does not affect the shader. It does affect the shadow, that it emits the cast shadow, but not the shadows on, on the model itself that's because of the material okay so that's something to keep in mind with this method the se with the second method we'll fix we'll fix that but in case you don't need to worry about light uh, you can essentially uh, keep on uh, creating um, more colors if you'd like you can also change the color of this instead of making it gray you can make it like let's say we wanted a red let's say we wanted a red over here to make a bright red and a dark red over there so you can see that creates a pretty nice shader and before we keep going and I show you the second method I'm going to show you the simple way of creating the outline so the simple way of creating the outline is by simply checking freestyle. So I want to go into the world settings and make this a little bit brighter. And I want to render the image. And as, as you can see, it gives you a pretty decent outline. I mean, we haven't really done barely anything. We just checked on this and it gives us some pretty nice results. You can, of course, make this thicker if you wanted to. So let's try four. And as you can see, it creates a pretty thick, uh, not so smooth uh, outline. Okay, so the other way, uh, another method for creating the material is by having, let's say you had a diffuse with some textures or a principal shader let's let's just type in a and uh, with some textures hooked on to it and all that stuff and you want wanted to use that information and transform it into into a tune shader so we, you can do that uh, pretty easily with a shader to rgv which essentially turns the shader into a color so if we type the, if we plug this in, uh, and you will see that this is affected by the light, which is pretty sweet. So to further um, control how it looks, we can go and add a color ramp. Make sure it's set to constant. 
and we can change the colors again like let's say we wanted this time to create a blue and as you can see it looks pretty nice and this is affected by the light so the cool way I guess you could say of creating the outline which is the prior the my the fr my favorite part of this video is by creating another material let's uh call it outline okay i put it in all caps but it doesn't matter and we're going to delete the principles of vsdf and we're going to add a geometry input and we want a mix shader an emission shader oops and also a transparent sh um, shader and we want to plug in the back facing over here so essentially the color of the emission is going to be the color of the outline so let's say I just want to have a black outline and before we keep on on going with this we want to make sure the blend mode is into is set to alpha blend and make sure you check the back face calling or it will not work so let's go into the modifiers and add a a solidify and we want to flip normals and we want to set this to 1 so let's apply this and as you can see I'm not sure if you can see it now there you go you can see the outline and it reacts to the camera movement and all that nice stuff so you can make it thinner, thicker. You can also fill the rim if you wanted to, which in our case we don't. And or only do the rim. Sorry. And yep, yeah, that that's pretty much it for this tutorial. So I hope you got something out of it. If you did, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.